All right, guys, so this is a set of the Pixel Buds. Uh, I think they're just calling them Pixel Buds. I don't think they're going with Pixel Buds 2 or anything like that. But if you're familiar with AirPods, for instance, this size of case is going to be familiar. So I don't know what it looks like when it was on screen during the keynote. It looked a little large. It is not large. This will fit in a coat pocket. This will fit in a coin pocket. This will fit in a front pocket. You can see I don't have abnormally large hands. I mean, this thing's small. Um, and it feels great. feels premium, nice, soft touch, nice and rounded just like every other Google thing is. Magnetic top right here. So if you're uh, an AirPods fan and you uh, have this habit of clicking this thing like I do, then that's nice and satisfying for you. But as you open it up, you're met with this nice little charging dock for your Pixel Buds. They're small, they're round, they feel great. Again, like super light. And Google's telling me that they've engineered some unique stuff as far as the way that this kind of moves around specifically and the way that this stuff's notched exactly and I can tell you from putting this thing in my ear they feel great in the ear and I've tried a lot of wireless earbuds so these things aren't launching until spring of next year which is a real bummer and the price point is decent uh, 179 is what they're gonna be asking for them but for everything that these are gonna be doing so we're gonna have touch capacitive volume and play pause buttons on the outside of these things obviously Google Assistant is integrated uh, I think 12 hours is or I'm sorry five hours is what they said with the buds by themselves and then 24 hours for the whole thing all together you get USB type C charging as well you got multiple sizes on the noise isolating earbuds so depending on your ear you can make it fit just right for you and then down below they've got a really interesting thing if that little bitty port right there actually allows in ambient noise too and so Google says that via software they can actually dictate how much noise comes in and is let in so you hop on the subway it can kind of crank that ambient noise down when you're at home and you need to be able to hear and there's not a bunch of competing noise no big deal we can let that ambient noise in so some really really awesome features here so assuming these things sound pretty good and you know get delivered in spring like Google's promising I think they've got a hit on their hands here especially at this price point because it's going to compete price wise with the earbuds or Air AirPods I'm sorry and in general from a standpoint of of comfort uh, from fitting multiple people and delivering quite a few more features than the AirPods do. I think Google has done well and put together a really cool package here. But guys, that's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. Until next time, we'll see you.